Hey there, viewers. Deli here. And Invictus. And we're we're here to make up for being <laughs> jackasses. <laughs> uh, maybe you are. I'm here to just announce to the world. Yep, yeah, I'm a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> we have done way too much, and every time we tell ourselves, okay, let's stop, and then make our video showing everything that we're done, we're like, well, maybe one more thing. And just, just one more. Just one more. Yeah, and it just continues on for <laughs> hours and hours at a time. So we've made so much progress, and we feel terrible because you probably don't know what the hell happened. So. Yeah, it's all right. I think you all will appreciate it. It is uh, meaty progress. So... <laughs> It's uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, because we're going to take you on a walkthrough tour of what we've got done already. Alright, so here's the entrance into the bridge that leads to the spire. <laughs> Which, it in itself, has a, a very funny story. Uh, we were about to start recording this video, uh, thinking, yeah, we're, we're set. we got nothing more to build, and as we just mentioned, we're the type of people that are like, what? Just one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> and this sure used enough. to be just stone. Of simple stone interests. Then we decided to make it all torchy and look nice. So, yeah. And yeah. the funniest part about it is, we slept, woke up, and we're like, "All right, it's bright and early. We can start the video." It took us an entire day just to do this entrance right here. Yeah. <laughs> so we slept again, woke up, and now we're doing the video. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate procrastinator. So let us begin. Right here, we have our entrance bridge, which we just worked on two days ish ago. Yeah, three days, probably. Yeah. And this is a very nice entranceway. At least I think it is. Very bright and torchy. And here we have our wonderful spire. As you can tell, we sort of tried to keep a uh, rough look to it. We wanted to keep a natural appearance and sort of just mesh everything in with it. Yeah, I think uh, there's the, a sort of movie-esque feel to it when you have... Everything sort of built into it. It's, it's almost Lord of the Rings like, I guess. You know, feels okay. like it's, it's just sort of part of the landscape, and I think I really like that aesthetic anyway. Which, as you guys remember, uh, if you've watched the first episode of Del Invictus My plays Minecraft, then you have seen that the original staircase was one wide and was really awkward to go up and down. So. Yeah. I took some time, spread it out into bigger steps, and while I was doing that. And all this junk, Invictus was doing this, converting the dirt yurt. Into a rather livable spire. Bookcases and everything. Yep, it's a little bit more nifty, a little more dandy, a little more handy spandy. And the furnace room. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, hideous, ugly furnaces everywhere and then mystic enchanter in the middle of <laughs> I may have gone a little overboard on the furnaces, uh, but it's my opinion that you can never have enough. So <laughs> These will likely be cleared out of here once we get an actual living quarters built in the area that we'll show you in a second. Mm -hmm. But up top here, we have, what did you call this? The Tree of what? The, the Tree of Gondor, of course. Tree of Gondor, all right. It's a, it's a very specific reference to Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's not white, it is fully blooming, so I guess... Uh, the king has returned, or something. <laughs> or uh, something. Oh. And Lord of the sadly, Rings. the diamonds are empty. We do not yeah. have any diamonds right now because we have been using them to make stuff. And then I think the last two went to the enchanter, correct? Uh, yes, they did. All right, so um, we'll just show you this now while we're over here, so you get a good view of it. But uh, over there is the foundation for where we will be building our castle. And if you watched the first episode of Del Invictus Craft, uh, that was at one point a mountain. It is completely level. <laughs> we had to take off like probably 10 or so levels of dirt and stone to get that perfect flatness. <laughs> and once we accomplished that, it, which took a real day, like 24 hour day. I mean, we, not, it, not 24 hours, but, but it, a full session of playing Minecraft. Yeah, of about six hours in length. It was just insane. So, well worth it, though, because now it looks nice and flat and pretty. Uh, we have torches over there, just so monsters don't spawn all over our foundation. Uh, and we even added in... I didn't, but Dell, uh, he decided to build a scaffold 
and fill in a little bit of dirt on the undersides there, make it look nice. a little bit more natural, blend in. So uh, he risked his life and lost it a few times in doing so. God, uh, that was so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fell that one time and I was like, this is so stupid, I have to climb clear back up there and I don't even get back to where I was working and I fall off again and die. <laughs> Multiple times. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, I was always like, oh shit, and then Victor's just like, what, what, and I'm like, dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Three seconds later, Feed says, Delacroix has died. <laughs> uh, it was sad. That again, huh? And then on top of that, I uh, began work on the garden, which was my big thing that I was pushing Invictus for. I was like, I want to have a garden. I'm like the needy housewife that wants to plant plants and crying her sorrow because her husband doesn't love her anymore or something but <laughs> maybe that was that a little was too deep such a sad <laughs> that was a little too deep i'm sorry i apologize for that <laughs> but we did get a really pretty effect out of it and we made some awesome waterfalls coming out of the troughs in there but yeah we'll, we'll get more into that once we get over there mm-hmm. and uh also we have a second story veranda <laughs> <laughs> that that is a a story in and of itself again uh, at one point I was just going on a, a random building mode. To be honest, the dirt yurt was converted on a whim. I just noticed that I had a whole bunch of cobblestone, and I was itching to use it. So I decided to just disassemble the dirt yurt as Deli was building these stairs. And uh, as a, a topper, I decided to put in a veranda on the first floor. And uh, this was the, the veranda, this little small area. Just a viewing platform. And if you and guys okay. remember, we did have a platform on the dirt yurt that was actually a dirt platform. Mm -hmm. So we made sure to keep it intact. We wouldn't want to lose our, uh, our wonderful view of the lake. So, And then later on, we decided, well, if we've got a first story veranda, we've got to have a second story veranda. <laughs> and that so. seemed like a good center area to put our record player. Yep, and if you want to hear... Let's see if we can get this going. We even got speakers for it, so. <laughs> it's not the most uh, epic tune to begin with, but we're hoping to get some more records later. We'll have to expand our collection. I think it's epic. Oh, well, I'm glad you do. <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> initially, <laughs> I was, pretty cool initially song. I was like, it's really weird, and then after that I was like, alright, this is pretty cool. Alright, so here's the mineshaft area that you guys saw us building, and as you can see, we closed it in back here. Mm -hmm. And I think a creeper blew up right here. Yeah, that was a sad day. <laughs> we forgot to torch it for a little while there. Yeah. So, as you can imagine, the uh, the foundation for the castle is above us, um, and we had to fill in this area simply so that we could put the stone foundation on top of something. Uh, at some point, we may fill this in. Uh, or it may be converted into a basement area. We're not entirely sure yet. Uh, we would like to have it go deep into the mountain, uh, but depending on how uh, how large scale the top side gets, we may start thinking, well, we don't need to go very deep. Yeah, I think it might be ideal to have like an entryway through here. That way we can just get to our mine shaft without going outside. That would make sense. So you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Breaking news from Della Victus Craft. <laughs> All right, so here's the foundation. It's going to be it's enormous. Huge. <laughs> and yes, this is all hand planted cobblestone. It took a long, arduous time. If you pick up, peek off the sides here, we did have to level off a few areas with dirt, fill in areas, make it so that everything was flat. Ugh, I don't even want to remember it. It's it's traumatic. <laughs> yeah, and honestly. Initially, I was thinking I don't really like the way that it has this like three block rise up to the foundation, but really it gives it a more castly feel because it sort of gives that secure feeling. So likely we'll keep it like that. Yeah, and uh, as the uh, the sun goes down here, you'll you get an idea of just how expansive and how many torches were needed, and you'll actually get a nice view of the uh, the spire as it is lit up in all of its glory. It actually is a very pretty thing. And I'm proud to be living there, so. <laughs> and of course, the garden is still in progress, because I ran out of glass and wood. So right now we've got a couple plants brewing, and it is going to be a two-story garden. On the top, all of this is going to be filled in with dirt, and then we are going to plant trees and make a biodome up here out of glass. 
Yeah, and the the whole point and key to all of this all along has been to, you know, ensure that we maintain the nice view that we originally had. Um, make sure that we uh, have every single possible angle, a way to look out every way. I mean, every castle should have a very secure feel, as Delia was saying. So we want to make it as realistic as possible while also keeping the aesthetic of, wow, this looks really pretty. So Yes, and uh, if anybody's wondering, some people have a strange hatred for cobblestone, and while my hatred is not really a hatred so much as it is a... Uh, I don't know, just a... I, I think that it can be much prettier it, when you convert it to smooth stone. We are going to be building the walls out of smooth stone for the castle. However, we are going to continue to use cobblestone for floors and accent pieces and things like that. So... Yes. And we figure, you know, at some point, cobblestone is going to be used in the castle, probably intermittently, just to give it that sort of old age feel but perhaps a, a new age uh, construction because as kings and queens enter this area, they're going to want to make it look pretty, but they also want to look like they're old money. So, Some of you may have noticed that uh, Invictus has become a little bit more derpy than the last time you saw him. Hey, I'm a knight. I gave up. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, you bastard! Ah. <laughs> Keeping a knight out of his own home. Who would dare? <laughs> anyway, um, if you You're look like the Don Quixote. Here, hmm? <laughs> You're the derp knight. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, that's, uh, I guess, pretty much it. Um, we do have, um, I guess, one last thing to point out, uh, although I'm not sure if we'll incorporate it officially. Do you want to show them how we got those waterfalls to light up, or are we... Ah, uh, yeah, actually, I think we'll save that for another episode. Maybe an exploration ep episode instead. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, you guys know where it came from, I'm sure, but of course we yeah. have our own little secret place where we have it and all that junk, so, you know, we'll probably have a uh, episode where we'll venture into the nether together and take down some stuff. Yeah, it's been actually, I, to be honest, again, I am still fairly uh, innocent when it comes to this game, so I haven't been in the nether very often, and ever, ever since they... Uh, implemented an end to the game I, i'm not sure how i feel about that but it's uh i haven't really been in there and i haven't done very much exploring so i guess we'll have to give delhi this derpy armor and make him lead <laughs> i don't want the derp armor <laughs> <laughs> i will make a full armor what is that projectile protection <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew you were enchanting your helmet <laughs> the other day. Well, I, I walk right. up there, and Invictus looked a little less derpy for a second, and I realized he was <laughs> standing by the enchantment table, and I was like, are you enchanting that helmet? And he's like, no, and then puts it back on. <laughs> You're just jealous, that's all. I'm going to go and harvest a bunch of diamonds and make a full diamond suit. Oh, and you won't make me one? No, never. You can't make me! <clears throat> Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Well, again, I guess that's pretty much all we've got for you. Uh, we didn't want to go too long without showing you what progress we made, and we hope you have... Uh... Oh, God! <laughs> Sorry, oh. I did this. <laughs> wow. I decided Seems to Seems like jump. you're in trouble there. Should yeah. I come help you? No! I don't want your kind of help. Oh, You've I can got this armor. I can outswim creepers like it's nothing. Except for that one that's right behind you. He's not that close. Let's make it back to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like Spock. Oh, did have they? Uh, they haven't actually seen the uh, the struts for the bridge yet, have they? Oh, no, they haven't. Um, I guess that's one last thing we can show you before we uh, head on off. I'm being pursued by a skelly. Um, let me see. T 
two is my sword. Right. I don't know. It's I, your I, stuff. I, I mean, I have my HUD turned off, so I'm just like... I don't remember where my stuff is. Typical. Come here, you stupid skelly. Another one shooting at me. Another one shooting at me. Where is he? Okay, well, <laughs> you can pretty much see the see the struts from here. Yeah, that's the, I think the other realization that we wanted to make things look realistic. So, if it looks like it needed a support, we put in a support. And right now, there aren't really supports on the uh, main bridge, but we will be adding in some more intricate ones, such as these, later on. They won't mm -hmm. go clear down to the water, likely, the way that they angle down to the water, but they will definitely bridge the gap between the walls here. So, anyway, we uh, we hope you've enjoyed your, your tour, and uh, I guess I'll let Deli take it from here. Alright, um, honestly, I don't have much more to say. Uh, we aren't going to be documenting a lot of us actually building the structure of the castle until maybe once we get something big going on this is mostly just a video to show you where we're at and let you know where we're going that way you have something to compare it to once we get there so um on that note thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time see you later